Okay, here's my uh, cockpit. You can see uh, three monitors. We have the uh, MCP, EFIS, an enunciator that is uh, a work in progress. It does work here. Uh, we can uh, cancel it and recall the error. And if we turn off the uh, respective systems that are keeping those lights on, it'll go out. Of course, we have the COB stack, and I got the uh, XHSI operating here, giving me all those goodies. Now, the latest thing I've added is this little goodie right here. I don't know if you can make it out. The light's not too good. What I did was take an old mouse and convert it into a switch that can be used to uh, to move knobs. Let me explain this. Uh, one of the neat things about an air manager is that if I take my mouse and click on, say, that right there, and then I scroll the mouse wheel, hang on, scroll the mouse wheel, you can see that it's changing values. The altitude's going up there as I roll the, roll the mouse tube. Well now, with the benefit of this little goodie here, and I'm sorry the light's so bad, I'm going to grab that knob and I can still change it. Now the beauty is that this screen that you're looking at is a touch screen. So if I want to change the uh, airspeed, I just touch it, then I grab my little knob here, and I can turn it up in a very natural way to set whatever I want. So basically, as you can see, the switches are no problem. You can just touch a switch, obviously, and you can accomplish what you want to accomplish. I'll turn the flight director on there. Turn the other flight director on there. So we can do just about everything we want pretty naturally, except for the, the knobs. So here, I'm going to go back to the course here. I'll touch that. And I'll grab my knob, and I can set the course. And of course, it's moving in the HSI. There again, let's touch the heading. And then we'll look down there, see if I can find the... There, it's coming around. I haven't figured out a way to latch this thing down permanently. I think it might probably be best to put it near the top of the... Uh, the uh, So there we go. You can see the, the uh, heading knob moving as I turn. And the digits moving. So that's pretty much it. Here again, I'll show you this uh, up close with a little better light maybe. I don't think I have better light, unfortunately. Uh, but it's just a uh, simple little box that I've mounted the uh, guts of a uh, an old mouse that I got for about $3. And then I uh, built an extension for the uh, wheel to make a shaft and then uh, bought a knob and I mounted that on there. And so far, I think I'm pretty happy with this, uh, the way it works. It's, uh, it's going to give me some uh, ability to ch change things without having to sc scroll. I found using the scroll wheel, which is pretty natural, the disadvantage was that you move the mouse and if you move off of the object. The great thing about the touch screen is you just touch the screen and once you touch the screen, that activates that digit, or that uh, selector here, airspeed, and you can crank it up pretty fast. Uh, you know, not that, not that unrealistic uh, compared to the airplane, and I have flown the airplane, so. So anyway, I, uh, I felt this was one of the most important things I needed to make this thing more realistic. And uh, it'll work on any knob, even knobs like this, like, uh, the barrow uh, set and so on. You can see that knob spinning there now, the inner knob. If you notice, there's two different kinds of, uh, of uh, knobs here, or uh, cursors. There's one for the inner and one for the outer. But uh, anyway, pretty natural, uh, just reaching up to the front of the panel and grabbing a knob after you've touched it to uh, select the one you want. That's all for now. I just wanted to share this with you right now so you can see what I was up to.